A group known as the Incorporated Trustees of Empowerment for Unemployed Youth Initiative has called on the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovia Omar Gege, to step aside for investigation into an alleged conviction case in the United States of America. The group filed an expatriate motion at the Federal High Court in Abuja, asking the court to compel the Department of State Services, the DSS, and the Nigerian Police Force to arrest and investigate Senator Omar Gege over an alleged conviction in November 1925. Um, the counsel to the group, Edward Omaga, explained that despite submitting several petitions to the DSS and the police to probe the deputy Senate president, no effort has been made to commence investigation. The plaintiff has written to them once, twice, and they refuse to act. They refuse to make arrests. They refuse to invite the man for questioning. They refuse to check and tell Nigerians whether this person can, can be arrested, whether he can be prosecuted, whether he can even be removed as not being fit and proper. And that was why we were in court last week, to say his conduct is unbecoming of a leader of this country. And today we are in court to say, DSS, do your work. The Nigerian police, do your work against the person of the third defendant in this case. Arrest, investigate, prosecute. There should also be, finally, which is very important, the third defendant, the deputy senate president, should be compared to, set, to step aside from his office. Let it be noted. Let him step aside because in every investigation, if the person you are investigating sits in that office, you will agree with me that you cannot investigate him properly, especially a high-profile case as a conviction of this kind of person in the USA. And when you finish uh, it, step aside, when we finish, the police finish their work, he can come back to office if he's not found uh, culpable.